So we're now at Kono Mimora, I think it's called, in Hiroshima. Um, this place is five floors of um, Kono Miyake, like pancake foods. We did try in Tokyo, but it wasn't very good. But this is like where they originated, so we expect them to be much better here. Mm -hmm. um, we did, weren't quite sure what to expect of this place, and I guess it does not meet my expectations, but that's probably a good one. There's just like endless options to try. We're only on the second floor, and as I said, it goes up to the fifth floor. That's like all the same stuff. And the Hiroshima Carps baseball team are very popular here. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about the name, Carps. Meh. Not, I wouldn't be very intimidated playing against the Carp. You know, it's like more intimidating to play against the Tigers or something. Now on the third floor, let's see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Fourth floor. <laughs> wow. This so good. I mean, I don't know how to pick where to go. They kind of all looks the same. I'm sure there are differences. I'd probably pick one where there's a lot of local Japanese people yeah. eating it. Floor five is just too classy. I'm not into this <laughs> at all. I don't like it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We assume that this is ours, but I guess we don't really truly know. Oh. Mm -hmm. Starting to salivate. Oh, it's a mm. That's a lot. Like that. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So it looks like each pancake pile here goes with a pile of noodle here, but like I, I'm not understanding how that's going to work because you get it on like a single plate and there's not really any more room for that giant mound of noodles. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work, unless they just keep flattening these down. Oh, there it is. It's just one big ass mound of food. And so the final step is uh, a layer of egg underneath everything. <laughs> so much food. <laughs> Udon? Arigato. Arigato. Well, I hope you're hungry. <laughs> Might not have to eat tomorrow. I'm actually not that hungry. <laughs> so we're at Hiroshima Station right now, and we dropped off one of our bags of luggage, put it in the locker room, so we've got less stuff to carry. And we passed by this restaurant, which is about to open right now, and the line is just you know, extending out pretty far. Kind of makes me want to eat there since I wasn't even locals are. I wasn't even hungry until I saw this line yeah. and now I'm hungry. I don't even know what kind of food they have. I don't either, but it makes you kind of want it. The fact that there's so many people there. They're not tourists either. I think it's called Pacho, which makes it sound like a Mexican restaurant, yeah, which would great. be very strange. Huh. This building behind me is called the Atomic Bomb Dome. Um, the atomic bomb, uh, it was the first one that was dropped on Japan, the first of two. It was also the first one ever used, and uh, the one that was detonated over Hiroshima 
was detonated about 600 meters above this building. Um, almost directly above, not quite directly, but almost directly. And the, the bomb pretty much virtually destroyed the entire city. But because the bomb detonated uh, above this building, the blast went downward and not sideways. So the building kind of remained intact um, compared to the rest of the city and it still remains standing today. So it's been left as kind of a memorial. Um, they've sort of reinforced it with some steel in there to keep the remaining structure up. This is basically the only thing that was left standing in the city. So this here is the hypo center. Um, this is the spot where the um, bomb detonated directly overhead, about 600 meters. Um, there's a little plaque here. Um, it says that it uh, dispersed heat rays of between 3,000 and 4,000 degrees Celsius, and most people died instantly, of course. Behind me is the Children's Peace Monument. Um, it was dedicated to all the children that lost their lives in the bombing. Um, this particular monument was inspired um, by a girl that was two years old when the bomb dropped. She um, survived it, but 10 years later she died of leukemia. So her classmates figured that this would be um, a nice dedication for her as well. Um, there's a little girl and a little boy um, that are on the statues. I think the boy is behind us. Maybe we can film that later. But there's also writing on it that says um, in English, well, translated in English, it says, this is our cry, this is our prayer for building peace throughout the world. So these cases here are filled with paper cranes um, that are made by children in Japan and also abroad. They're kind of donated here um, out of respect for the children who lost their lives. And there are a lot of them. There are probably 10 or 12 of these cases that are filled with them. And the ones that are being entered right now um, are from the students that we were just filming. There are like thousands of them in each one. A nice man gave um, this origami crane to Tegan. It's very sweet. So this is the peace bell. Um, there's a world map on it with no borders. That symbolizes unity. And you ring the bell. It strikes an atomic symbol here. I saw a couple timid Japanese girls doing the same thing that Kristen just did. So behind me is the Atomic Bomb Memorial Mound. Um, after the bombing, they collected tens of thousands of uh, bodies, a lot of which were unidentified, um, and they cremated them, and their ashes are now within this mound. Um, they have a ceremony here every year on the anniversary um, to pay tribute to those who are here. This here is a monument to the Korean victims of the bombing. Um, there were about 100,000 Koreans uh, in the city when the bomb was dropped. Um, they were here as forced laborers, pretty much. I'm not exactly sure if all of them were, but there were certainly some of them were, at least. Um, it's interesting because the plaque here says they were civilian employees of the army. This here is the Flame of Peace and it is going to be burning until there are no more ne nuclear weapons left on Earth. Probably will be burning for quite a while. So, um, this is the cenotaph, as it's called, uh, for the victims. The um, marble thing in the inside there has a, the registry of all the known names of the victims of the bombing.
um, and through it you can see the um, the flame of peace and the A-bomb dome in the background. And it looks like there's a wreath here from the president of Brazil, I'm assuming. Mm. 